In my previous video, I explained what hybrid casual games are and why they work so well and why they are basically the future of games, especially mobile games, which are still which still make up the biggest percentage of gaming market worldwide. So if you haven't watched that video yet, it's available right now on the card above. I highly recommend checking it out first, so today's video make even more sense. Because today we are diving into the real meat, how to actually make a hybrid casual game. Not just talking theory, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step, while also well, sort of building a small example hybrid game along the way. So let's jump straight into it. So the first step and honestly the most important step is the idea or in this case ideas. Yes, plural. Hybrid casual games are born from mixing genres. You take one strong simple core mechanic like tapping, swiping, shooting or running and then you layer in the features from other genres. For example, a tower defense which is also an action shooter, an idle RPG mixed with base building, a hyper casual runner with deep progression systems or even a set of mini games tied together by one meta game. The combinations are almost endless. But here's the catch. Don't oversaturate the games. Hybrid casual doesn't mean just throw everything you like into one messy soup and then just hope for the best. It means adding just enough genres to make it feel richer and longer lasting than a simple hyper casual game. For our example game, I'm picking a few of my favorites. Resource management, idle mining, a little bit of RPG and a little bit of tower defense. Why these? Because they complement each other really well. Mining gives resources, resources power towers, towers defend your base and RPG upgrades makes the mining just more efficient. That's interdependency and that's what makes hybrid games feel satisfying. If your genres support each other, gameplay feels natural. If they fight each other, the game will just feel confusing. So in our case, mining and resources gives our towers and RPG progression. And that's our core loop already forming. Now that we have the idea, the next step is something most beginners kinda skip and I kinda used to do that as well. Go to the drawing board. L literally, just get a drawing pad, a sketchbook or even just a cheap notebook, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you draw the game, even if you're not an artist. Trust me, stickman and squares are more than good enough. The whole point here is to visualize the flow, the transitions and the basic movement to movement gameplay. Let me sketch out our basic example here. The idea is very simple. The player lives alone in the wild, maybe in a forest or a wasteland. During the day, they gather and mine resources. And at night, animals or hostile creatures attack the base. The player uses the resources they gather to build and upgrade towers, walls, traps or even their character. Maybe they can craft items. Maybe they can sell access materials to a traveling market or a caravan for cash. And then invest the cash into better mining tools, faster progression or stronger upgrades. And just like that, without writing a single piece of code, we have a game loop that already feels fun and engaging. Let's break this down properly. Day phase, collect resources, build upgrades, and at the night phase, defense and rewards, and then repeat. This loop should be very clear for hybrid casual games. Players should immediately understand what they are supposed to do even without a simple tutorial. So the game starts like this. The character arrives at a tiny abandoned farm that they have just purchased, maybe something like that. Maybe there is a broken shed, a well, some trees and a stone pile. The first thing the player does is mine, chop, collect or clean up. They get enough resources to fix the shed, uh, build the first tower or upgrade their weapons. Then night comes, enemies attack, the player tries to survive. If they survive, boom, just like that we have progress. And that is the exact kind of loop hybrid casual games rely on. Simple actions, meaningful upgrades, rinse and repeat. So why this structure works? Well, this setup gives us four simple things. The satisfying simplicity of a hyper casual mining. The mid core progression of a tower defense. The long term retention of RPG upgrading and the content variety of base building. Now again, the base building can extend into much much further just like we do in Minecraft. Each part feeds the next, nothing feels wasted and the player always feels like they are moving forward. And that's basically the best thing about a game, the player needs to understand that they are actually moving forward in game, they are actually progressing. Okay, preparing for development. 
so by this stage we have the core idea the interdependent genres the early sketch of the world and a working loop that keeps players engaged so before even opening our game engine we know what the player does at any moment what motivates them what rewards them when the difficulty changes and how the game evolves over time and this is the real foundation of hybrid casual game development programming coding comes later asset making asset building getting all of that stuff comes later this is where the game is truly created so now that we have the concept the sketches and the game loop defined in the next video we are going to move into the real fun part building the actual prototype inside unity we'll start by creating the player setting up resource nodes building the basic day night loop making a simple clock and slowly layering the systems until it becomes a fully fledged hybrid casual game if you want to follow along and build this game step by step make sure to subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss it that would be just about it thanks for watching and remember keep making awesome stuff i'll see you in the next one cheers and peace